Hey parents of Gemini children, this is your uh, parental guidance forecast for the month of May. We're just trying to keep it short and sweet and to the point. Um, ooh, already I'm looking at these colors for, or the color of the cards for themes. And I can see the root chakra, see a little bit of possible crown going on. So for your Gemini child, they may struggle with um, balance. And I do see, ironically, uh, the child, uh, the lover's card, which usually is representative in tarot of Gemini, and that's in reverse. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But, you know, I see um, possible, I, I would say this is more throat chakra than uh, third eye, although that could have something to do with it. But I'm really getting a sense of root, possible... Um, crown and third eye chakra. So let's talk about this a little bit more. So we have, I listen to what others say um, in reverse. And so I just feel that in the month of May, your Gemini child, again, they're coming up uh, on their, you know, this is essentially the beginning of their birth month for the uh, earlier Gemini. So happy early birthday to your child. Um, you know, they may be reluctant to listen. They may be stubborn. They may be selfish, think that they know it all. Ah, I don't have to listen to you. I know. Because again, uh, Geminis are communicators. They're talkers. They are influencers in, in that regard. So this is totally their card where, you know, instead of listening, they may be doing some talking this month. And that's not a bad thing. It's, it's just the position of where they, they are in. There may be something important that they have to say or get out this month. And it's it's very important. It could have to do with the foundation of who they are. Um, we have the lover's card in reverse. Um, to me, this speaks of balance, um, you know, for children, um, the yin and yang, and the fact that it's in reverse, I just feel that there's some kind of imbalance going on this month, perhaps a possible irritability, um, egocentric, um, you know, so just be aware of that, that, you know, depending on your sun sign or your astrological chart and makeup you may be you may find yourself a little bit more irritated by your uh gemini child and if that's the case just remember that you are limitless and if just remind yourself that you are limitless you are safe you are healed you are whole um and that that's what helps me with my little one is if i find myself being irritated i'm like all right i'm limitless so therefore because i have no limits to say that I'm frustrated or irritated implies that I do have limits, which, you know, because I'm spirit and I am a child of God, that that can apply. That's for mainly for those who uh, understand uh, A Course in Miracles or um, are familiar with that um, or, or, or are open to that mind frame. Not everybody's there. So um, just do what works best for you. I can understand that, that for some people there may be some hesitancy or uh not restriction but um you know just some like pushback with that that phrase like oh well if i'm limitless then you know this wouldn't happen and it's like it has a lot to do with our mind conditioning and beliefs of the world and so on and so forth so if you're not familiar with the course of miracles i highly recommend that you look up uh, the website a c i m as in mary uh, dot org. Uh, so let's move on to freedom. There's definitely something churning uh, within their center being. And I, like I said, we it's something dealing with talking. So uh, since this reminds me of the throat chakra, and, and I guess you could say this is probably like their vocal cords, just know that there's in, in this month, that there's going to be something coming forth, some kind of language of uh, like just I don't want to say a, a shit storm, but, or a tornado, but some kind of like whirlwind of communication where they just feel like they got to get this out. Some it's coming from an, a, a place of inadequacy or imbalance that in order to balance it, your child may feel the need to overcompensate with a lot of communication. 
And for whatever reason, I don't know how this applies, <laughs> but I specifically get the feeling that there is a lack of gratitude or, you know, some somewhat of egotistical arrogance or, you know, where they're, they're in their feelings. They're not really receptive to listen. They're not in a, a place where they want to be a servant. Um, it's all about me and my ego right now. So just whatever i don't i don't know what's going on in the sky astrologically uh during this time but this is you know just blatant like this it's all laid out for you this is this is a message it has to do with communication and just stuff being kind of for your gemini child so it says i am grateful Today, I will find one person and five things to appreciate in, uh, in my life. I will also tell the person how grateful I am for them. So if you, as their parent, feel a little taken advantage of, um, you know, that there is a lack of gratitude or that they're ungrateful or they have this demand and expectation that you're supposed to do, do your best, again, to take it with a grain of salt. Um, practice patience by just remembering that you are not limited limited that you are a limitless being and you know understand that as parents we are really here not necessarily to serve our child as a subservient you know in a, a, a demeaning manner but we're here to act as guides to our child's experience you know they're not here for us we you know they came through us um or to us as a means to guide and serve in their journey. So when you are able to detach your own expectations and your demands from your child's life, you have a better idea of just seeing them as an individual that is here and their duty is to learn about the world as it unfolds in their eyes. Hopefully that helps. It's funny, uh, we have let love in uh, opposite of the lovers. So there's definitely this lesson of, you know, letting love in. I feel like maybe in the month of April or early May, there was some kind of slight where your child shut down or they felt, um, you know, like uh, their ego was bruised and as a way to um, balance the scale in a egotistical way and not a loving way, they feel that they have to overcompensate. So they may be working through their hurts by communicating uh, overtly. Um, and, and really your, your lesson and their lesson, um, but your, your role as a guide is just to say, hey, I see you. I see what happened and I understand. But just know that, you know, love never left. You can never lose anything. Only love is real. And I see you. There's no need to do that. How do you really feel and how can we rebalance this and let love in? So I hope that that helps. That seems like a good message to me, very thorough. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I thank you for watching.